Self-inspection and quality audits. Self-inspection is basically a method to review one's own operation on aspects that may have effect on quality of product. In general, self-inspection aims at identifying defects whether of critical, major, or minor nature. Self-inspection should be conducted by designated competent persons from the company. A self-inspection program is conducted in order to monitor the implementation and compliance with current GMP principles, and to ensure that the necessary corrective measures are taken. Purpose of self-inspection. Self-inspection is a way to evaluate the whole operating system from every aspect that might influence the quality of the products. It is not only to find the weakness or fault but more important is to find a way to prevent and to overcome the problems effectively. The team of self-inspection. A self-inspection team, of which the members are appointed by company management, should initially prepare a self-inspection checklist for reference in the implementation of inspection. The self-inspection team should be withdrawn from the production, quality control, quality assurance, research and development, engineering, and general affairs departments. The team should consist of technically competent persons with a high conscience in quality assurance in drug product processing activities. Coverage of self-inspection. The self-inspection team should carefully study every point in the GMP guidelines and drive questionnaires fitted to the company's needs. The following items should undergo self-inspection so as to ensure GMP in the premises as per WHO requirement. Personnel, premises and equipment, maintenance, storage of starting and finished products, production and in-process controls, quality control, documentation, sanitation and hygiene, validation and revalidation program, distribution, product complain and recall, calibration of instruments, labels control, results of previous self-inspection and corrective action as taken. Frequency of self-inspection. Self-inspection shall be conducted at reasonable intervals but should cover an area, operation or function at least once a year or if necessary, at short intervals. Procedure. Prepare a time schedule for the area to be self-inspected. Determine the self-inspection team. Prepare a self-inspection checklist. Record all findings. Self-inspection report. In the implementation of self-inspection, the team should consistently bear in mind that the purpose of self-inspection is to look for improvement and not only fault-finding. The team also gives recommendations for solving encountered problems taking into consideration the economic aspects of GMP implementation. Distribution of report. Self-inspection report should be distributed to plant director, production manager, quality control manager, head of engineering department, corrective action, it should be appropriate to correct the deficiency and must be completed in a timely manner. It should be documented and records must be maintained. It must be monitored for implementation. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And also hit the bell icon to get regular updates. Thanks for watching this video. Watch more videos as we have created a lot of videos for pharmaceuticals.